Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the glands, their secretions and secretory mechanisms. A gland is a cell or group of cell that secretes a particular chemical substance for use in the body or for discharge into the surroundings. The every animal has a large number of glands which differ in their structure and type of secretions. Secretions are the chemical substances which are synthesized by glandular cells. They are released from the glands in response to a particular relevant stimulus. The nature and amount of the secretion vary greatly among different glands. Based on the distance at which the glandular secretions act, the glandular secretions are of four types. Number one, autocrine secretions. Number two, paracrine secretions. Number three, endocrine secretions. And number four, exocrine secretions. The autocrine secretions are those secretions which are produced by a gland or a cell and act on the cell itself. Such cells have autocrine receptors present on them. As a result, the substance produced causes changes and response in the same cell. The paracrine secretions act locally. They are produced by a cell and they affect the cells of nearby neighboring area. The example of paracrine secretions comes from the histamine which is released in an inflamed area and induces inflammatory response by the cells affected by some type of inflammation. The endocrine secretions are those secretions, are those substances which are released into the bloodstream and they act on distant target tissues by traveling and circulating through the blood. Aisi secretions ko hum aam taur ke upar hormones kehte hain jo ke a gland blood mein secret kar deta hai aur blood usko lekar distant targets tak chala jata hai. The exocrine secretions are the substances which are produced by the gland and they are released from the gland by a duct. Such glands are ducted glands and the secretions are produced, are released on the external epithelial surfaces. For example, digestive secretions, milk, tears, perspiration, fluids containing sperms, these are all exocrine secretions. Dear students, now we shall discuss the secretory mechanisms. The substance to be exported out of the cell is stored in the form of secretory vesicles. These vesicles are released by three mechanisms. They are released as apocrine or merocrine 
are halocrine pattern. In apocrine release, the secretory vesicles are gathered in the apical portion of the cell and this portion of the cell containing all the secretory vesicles is sloughed off sloughed off from the cell. Ye hisa jisme secretory vesicles jama hai pure ka pure us hisse ko cell se break kar diya jata hai. Is tarah se cell apna ek bada hisa ya ek badi quantity cytoplasm ki lose karta hai is secretion mein lekin tamam secretions cell se bahe nikal jati hai. This method is found in mammary glands during milk secretion. During merocrine release, the secretory vesicles release their material by exocytosis. Secretory vesicles cell membrane ke kiri baate hain, cell membrane mein opening paida hoti hai aur jo secretions hain, wo cell se bahir a jati. In this release, there is no loss of cytoplasm or any component of the cell. This method is the most common method of secretion. It is seen in sweat glands and many digestive glands. In holocrine release, the cell synthesizes the material to be secreted and after this synthesis, the cell ruptures and breaks up, releasing the contents. As a result, cell is itself damaged. This method is observed in the sebaceous gland cells.